I would just zone out and just think of him the whole time. I just hear, come on T. I feel like he's with me at every lift and every game. In high school, I won two back-to-back -back state titles junior and senior year. My senior year, I won a national event and I broke three world records. The year after that, I went and competed at a different national event and I had broke, re-broke one of my world records that I set the previous year. And then after I broke the world record again, I got invited to um, lift at the Arnold Classic and I'm, I ended up getting first place there too. On June 10th, 2015, uh, I have a brother named Tyree. He's two years younger than me. And the last thing we were gonna do before he passed away was work out. And I had started training him like two weeks before he passed. And the day he died, he was going to get a water so we can go work out. And so I was just waiting on him. And like he ended up dying like two houses away. So after that, like I felt like falling off at a point, but I just wanted to try to leave my memory like represent him in a way. He was always pushing me, like me and him, we, we would always compete against each other. So with him, like it just drives me every day. Like I can hear his voice every day, just saying like, T, keep going, like don't cry over me. I try to honor his legacy by like, trying to set an example for like the kids back home too, because it's kind of rough back home in Springfield. So I try to like set an example and like every single time I play football, like and whenever I score, I'll point up to the sky tell him that we made it, or whenever we, whenever I lift, before I lift, I tell him to be with me through the lift. I mean, we've worked hard this spring ball. We've worked hard, like, in the weight room, just countless hours. And then, like, outside the weight room, too, we even do stuff on our own. We just all link up and all just lift and work out. I feel like he's with me, like, every lift and every game.